Good morning, everyone, and welcome you all to Koro Yoga. Please find a comfortable position. Make sure you have some water and a block for this practice. We are going to begin with pranayama. Make sure you have some tissues. So find yourself in a comfortable position. Take a moment to close your eyes and connect to your breath. And focus on the core, solar plexus, navel area. Breathing deep into the navel. Extending from all sides. Deep breath into the belly. And out to relax. And from that space of awareness, we are going to begin with Anuloma Veloma. We'll do two sets of 10 Anuloma Veloma. Alternate nostril breath, harmonizing breath. So whenever you're ready, bring your left hand into Dhyana Mudra, using your right hand, closing. Now opening your nostrils, alternate nostril <coughs> breath, beginning on the left, finishing on the left for each round. Keep going for 10. <coughs> and as you finish, come to pause. Notice your breath. Bring deep into the heart center and navel. When you're ready, begin second set. Anuloma Valoma. Ten rounds, deep, soothing, inhale, pausing, exhaling to empty, pausing, inhaling to the top of your lungs, lifting your heart, expanding from the belly, big breath. Bending through the sides.
finishing on the left. Pausing to be, allow that energy to settle, coming to relax, meditating on your breath. We're going to shift to Kapalabhati, skull shining breath, cooling breath for all doshas. So we'll do two sets of Kapalabhati, nice and deep, slow, two rounds of 100. Whenever you're ready, bring your left hand to your belly, navel area, focusing on the solar plexus. Deep breath into the navel and then draw the navel in, really focusing on contracting your abdominal wall, keeping your lower back relaxed, jaw relaxed. Whenever you're ready, begin. Strong action, strong contraction, strengthening the abdominal wall, strengthening the heart. And when you finish, <clears throat> take a deep breath in, expand, and exhale to relax and pause.
Second set, Kapalabhati, if you're ready. 100, 100, on your own pace. Beginning slow, finding your flow and finishing up slow. Contracting and relaxing the belly. And finishing up, <clears throat> you should feel the abdominal muscles getting tired, feeling like you're getting a workout through the core and coming to pause to relax, a sip of water. Enjoying the sounds of nature, enjoying the sound of your breath. Coming to Agni Sara, core strength. And lightening the kindling, the agni, your digestion, strengthening, balancing your digestion directly, working on the stomach muscle and small intestine. We'll do three sets of Agvisara. <clears throat> As you're familiar, deep inhalation, big Buddha belly, draw the navel in and up, suck it in. And from here on empty, no breath, relax and Draw the belly in, relax, draw the belly in for as long as the inhalation allows you. And we'll do three sets with a pause in between. On your own pace.
We're going deep into the core. <clears throat> One last set. Shitali, we'll do 15 rounds of shitali, rolling your tongue and drinking your breath. Cool air coming in, exhaling through the nose, warm air coming out. Nice and soothing, long inhale. Cooling prana coming in through the central channel to the navel. And as you finish, pause. <clears throat> Shikari, 15, Shikari. It's a hot day, cooling off, calming the fire within, balancing the fire within. Preparing for the hot day. Shitkari, breathing in through the sides of your mouth. 
Sipping in the breath, cool prana coming in and warm prana coming out, 15 rounds. Focusing on the right and left energy channels directly affecting your liver, your spleen. Breathing into the sides of your rib cage. Finishing when you're done, as you're done, you know, 15 rounds. Coming to bring your palms down and coming in for cat and cow, seated. This inhalation, exaggerated, lifting your heart, lifting your chin, tilting your pelvis forward, exhaling, coiling in, rounding the spine. Deep inhale in, draw the navel in and keep your core active. Exaggerate that exhalation as you exhale, empty completely, draw the navel in, squeeze and hug through the core muscles. Inhaling, stretching the belly, gently hugging the navel in, lengthening through the spine, opening the heart, leading with your heart. Exhaling, cooling in, and draw the navel in as much as you can. One more. And coming back to center and pause deep breath into the belly. And as you exhale, begin to hug your pelvic floor, hugging all of the muscles, the front abdominal sides. Deep inhale, big Buddha belly, and then exhale. And down through the sit bones, lift your pelvic floor and then begin to hugging as an elevator, lifting that energy up. And to completely feel the lower ribs, feeling the back of your lower ribs, sides and the front as you squeeze. And then inhale, relax, keep your spine tall. 
You can begin to breathe out through the mouth, the biophotonic breath connecting you to your nabi, your navel. Feeling all of the muscles through the core. If there is any area that's sluggish, bring your hand to that area, bringing awareness to that area, breathing into your hand, expanding, and then draw that energy in, gently pressing your hand in. One more. Coming to the legs, bring your hands to your thighs, sit on, pause. Beautiful. Coming to grab your block, and as you grab your block, we're going to bring the block right over the head, extending through the arms, activating through the transverse abdominals. So sitting nice and tall, feet hip distance apart, making sure your knees are over your heels, and bringing your spine in alignment, and gently draw the core in. Inhale, bring the block up, gently activating through your arms, pressing into the block. Take a deep breath in and notice how that activates through your core, hugging your core. Keep your core active, gently hugging and breathing to your heart. Isolating your abdominals from the heart center. Steady breath. If your arms get tired, you can always lower the block and bring it behind your head, keeping your elbows wide. We're going to inhale, root down through the left, lift the right knee up and keep your core active. Lift your pelvic floor, exhale down, inhale left, knee comes up for eight. Nice and steady, using your breath, inhaling all the way up and hug and squeeze through the core. Exhale, lower it down. Focusing on the core. Squeezing, even as you inhale and lift your legs, squeeze through the core, feel your obliques, feel your transverse abdominals, feel the rectus abdominals. Try not to wiggle your hips, keeping your roots heavy, sit bones heavy. Stabilizing, rooting down through one side, lifting the other. And finishing up, exhale, release the block. Bring your hands up, big circles. Inhaling, lengthening, draw the lower ribs in, core is active. Exhale, lower your arms. And again, inhaling, keeping your core active, hugging in. And exhaling out, inhaling in, exhaling out. One more deep breath, expansive breath, feeling the coolness of this breath. Draw the right knee up and cross, hug your legs together, coming into a twist. 
Inhale deep, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hug through the core. And from here, twist as you hug. It doesn't matter how far you go. Keep that action contracting. Deep breath into the lower ribs, expanding and massaging. Exhaling, twisting a little bit more. But the focus and awareness is on the lower ribs. Expanding as you inhale, exhale, massage. Draw the navel in. Draw the pelvic floor in. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Keep your spine tall. Use that biophotonic breath anytime. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth with the she sound as you twist slightly more. Exhaling, bringing, twisting. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, come back to center. Release your legs, shake it up. Tap it up. If there's any tension in your hips, use your palms. Tap it. Come here, grab the block and bring the block over your head again. Leg lift, activating through transverse abdominals. So we are gently pressing hands in, activating through the arms, working those arms, stabilizing shoulders, hugging your scapula. Shoulder blades are gently hugging, pressing in, lower ribs in, settle in when you're ready. Deep inhale, lift the right leg up, hug and squeeze through the hip crease, lowest abdominals, feel those muscles, exhale down, inhale, lift. Exhaling down for eight, six more, inhaling in, exhaling down. Nice and steady. As if there was a string from the tip of your nose to the top of your knee. And you're breathing in, pulling in the string, lifting your knee up and exhaling, lowering down. Nice and steady, keeping your knee at 90 degree, just lifting your knee up towards your shoulders, keeping that core active. One last. And exhale, release, release the block. Inhaling arms, big arms, soft shoulders. Inhale, lift from the heart, stretch through the knee, but stretch through the sides. Exhale, expansive arms, stretch as much tissue as you can, nice and slow. Inhaling up. And exhaling. One more. And coming into twist, draw the left knee up, cross your legs, settle in, hug your ribs, core is active. Inhaling in, and then exhale, hug your core, and twist, hold that. Breathing into the lower ribs. Exhaling from the lower ribs, navel. Pulsing.
one more breath here. On your next inhalation, lengthen. Exhale, come back to center, release, shake it up. Keep your distance apart, last set. Block in between your hands, over the head, extend three arms as much as you can. From here, align your shoulders with your hips, being in alignment, deep breath in. Lifting your right leg up. Exhale, lower. Inhaling, switch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and pause. Full breath in. Next exhalation, lower. Inhaling, lift. Pause, full breath. Exhale, lower. Six more. Use your core as you exhale and hug through your core as you hold your leg up. You lift your pelvic floor. Hold your leg up without holding any tension through your face. Use that core, hug that core, feel your core. One last. Use that pelvic floor as you exhale by your photonic breath, navel length. And lower your block down. Shake it off, swing your arms forward and back. You are coming to stand. So as we're coming to stand, coming into table for cat and cow. Bring your hands to your chair, actually position your chair so the back rest is facing towards you. So you have the seat of the chair in front of you. Going to come into table for cat and cow first, inhaling deep, lifting your chin, navel drops, and then exhale, coil in, rounding the spine. Deep breath in. You may exhale through the mouth. If you're feeling too much heat in your body, exhaling all that warm air out. Coming back to table. And as you come back to table, step the right leg forward, left leg back, coming into high lunge, bending your front knee over the heel, or just in front of the heel, not crossing the ankle, stretching your left leg out and bend the back knee to align. Root down through your toes, spread your toes. Always spread your toes to root down for better balance. And from here, bring your shoulders over your hips, inhaling arms up, strong legs, draw the navel in, and exhale your hands to your back, planting your hands on your back, fingers pointing up, 
Wrapping your hands over your pelvis, exhale, lower your hips down, draw the navel in. Deep breath into your heart space and exhale, extend. Deep stretch through the left hip, keep your core active. One more breath here. Inhaling your arms up. Draw the navel in, lifting your heart. Draw the ribs in and exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands to the chair. Rest your hands on the chair. Extend through the front leg. Pivot back leg down. Bend the front knee, lower your hips. Inhale, swing your left arm forward and up. Lift and reach, coming into warrior two and align yourself into the warrior two. Pause, deep breath in, gazing towards the front. Lift your pelvic floor, bring your left hand to your left hip. Inhale, right arm up. We're going to open and stretch through the right side of the body. Deep breath into the right side, into your right armpit. Lower ribs, right side, lower back. Gently pulsing, feeling that ribcage expanding and contracting, toning your internal organs on the right side. Strong legs. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come back to down uh, to <laughs> warrior two. And then extend through the right leg. Forward fold into the right hip, use the chair. And open the left arm up, coming into a triangle. Now hugging into the left side and gently pulsing in. Using that right hand on the chair, bending, extending through the right elbow, just to help yourself activate through the left side of your obliques. Gentle pulses here. Beautiful inhale, rise up. Coming back, bend the front knee, sit low, release your arms. And from here, inhale your arms up. Stretch and lengthen, bring your hands together, Interla interlace your hands and flip your bones up. Hug your legs in, draw that energy into the center, lift your pelvic floor, core is active. And then exhale your arms out, bend the front elbow and place your forearm into the hip crease. Inhaling left arm opens, reversing the warrior stretch, exhale deep, deep stretch. From your fingertips to your toes and then inhale rise open up extend through the front leg pivot in toe heel in toe heel all the way in feet hip distance apart from here just begin to twist gently keeping your spine tall feet are connected rooted planted Gentle twist, allow your arms to swing side to side. Beautiful, toe heel your feet in as you come to center, feet together, we're coming into half moon pose to open through the right side. Inhale, arms come up, all the way up. Bring your hands together, palms together, interlace your fingers, index fingers out, pointing up, thumbs are crossed. Making yourself tall, breathing into the entire being. Deep inhalation, hug your legs together, lift your pelvic floor, navel in, exhale, gentle back bend. Breathe into your heart in your back bend, gently back bending forward, stretching through the navel, stretching through the sides. 
Inhale and coming back to center. Exhale to the left side. Keep your pelvis over your knees, knees over your ankles. Gently coming into side flexion. Draw the right shoulder up and exhale, soften, relax, deep breath. See if you can align your arms with your ears here. One more breath. Inhale back to center. Lengthen the spine and exhale, release your arms. Bring your hands behind you. Fingers pointing down, placing your hands just down on your pelvis. And when you're ready, exhale, draw those elbows back, open the heart and sit back into Utkatasana. Root down through your toes, shift the weight forward slightly, feel the weight in your toes, hug your legs, lift your pelvic floor, navel and core is active, lengthen through the sides of your body. Inhale, lift your heart, exhale, gentle back bend, keeping your pelvis in alignment, knees in alignment. Hug your sit bones, hug your pelvic floor. Nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, coming back to center and coming to face your chair again for cut and cow without articulating the spine. So the spine is lengthened. Align yourself, shoulders over your wrists, hips over your feet. Lengthen the spine, gently draw the navel in, lengthen, lift your tail, and from here, next inhalation, draw the belly. And then exhale, draw the navel in without articulating the spine. You can use the biophotonic breath here. Inhale, big Buddha belly, drop the navel. Exhale, draw the navel in. Pay attention to your lower back without articulating your lumbar spine, just keeping your spine tall. Notice any shift in throughout the thoracolumbar fascia. Notice if you feel any release of tension through thoracolumbar fascia, especially over your side joints, over your pelvis. One more breath here. And from here, we're going to step the left leg forward right leg back, coming into high lunge. So finding comfortable position. If you're finding difficult to balance, just widen your stance slightly. And from here, inhaling your arms up, bending back knee, aligning your shoulders with your hips. Exhaling your hands up to the back, wrapping your hands. And then extending through the back leg. Deep breath. Gentle back bend. Core is active, navel in each exhalation. One more breath here. Inhale your arms up. And exhale, coming into forward fold, placing your hands down, extend through the knee and then pivot on the back foot. Inhale, sweep your right arm up, bend your knee and come into warrior. Deep breath in. From here, bring your right hand to your head, inhaling left arm up and open through the left side of your body. Deep breath in, activate through the core pelvic floor, legs are drawing in, the energy feet are pulling into the center. Inhaling back to warrior, extend through the front knee. Reach for the chair, planting your left hand down on the chair. Stretch the right arm up. 
Coming into pulsing in triangle. Deep and steady breath, cooling breath. And as you inhale, rise up, bend the knee, open your arms. Bring your arms up, interlace your fingers and stretch out. Deep breath in. Exhaling, lowering your arms and then bringing your forearm in, opening through the right side and stretching from the fingertips to your toes. Draw that shoulder back, deep breath in. Lift your pelvic floor, hug your feet in, legs in, scissoring action. And inhaling back to center, open your arms wide, exhale, release your arm, extend through the left knee, pivot in, toe heel in. Gently toe heel in, it's like massaging your feet. Coming all the way in, feet together, ankles touching, hugging in, inhale your arms up, coming into half moon, interlace your fingers, extend through the index fingers, shift your weight forward, down through your toes, exhale to the right side, extend into the left side, and then exhale, settle in. A gentle pulse, strong and stable like a bamboo on the field. Flexible, resilient, and empty. Inhale, use that core to lift up. Lengthen, exhale, extend, gentle back bend, inhaling back to center and exhale your hands down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to grab the block. We're going to work the obliques. So using the chair, using the back of the chair, we're going to step on the block. We're going to step on the block, hover the legs. If you don't have the block, you can do this without the block. Just hover the legs, shorten your legs slightly. And from here, left arm, elbow to the hip, exhaling, squeezing, inhaling, lengthening through that side. So if you have the block, you have more room, you have more space to really stretch and extend and hover that leg over the ground, really focusing on the left side. So we'll do 10, inhale, open, exhale, gently draw the shoulder into the hip. Use the biophotonic breath, navel in, pelvic floor in. the breath. Nice and slow. One more. Beautiful, coming to step down, feet together, inhale your arms up and exhale, sit back into Utkatasana, hands to heart. We're going to come into forward fold and gentle twist. So we're going to twist your left elbow to the right thigh and then pressing your hands together, coming into a twist. If this is too much, you can open your arm using the chair and twist, just stretching. 
Stay in Utkatasana, strong legs, pacifying Apanavata. Deep breath in. All the twists are detoxifying, pacifying for liver, gallbladder, spleen, pancreas. And inhaling, rising, coming back to center. We're going to spread the feet apart. Feet are apart. Sit back. Exhale, inhale your arms up, cactus arms coming into the twist. So we are gently bending through the hip, through the knee. Feet are grounded, open the arms wide. You can bring your hands to your shoulders if that's more convenient. Deep inhalation, exhale, twist to the left, inhale, center. Exhale to the right for eight. The core is active, inhaling, gently expanding, exhaling, twisting. And finishing up. Coming back to center, toe heel your feet in. Inhale your arms up. And then exhale, gentle back bend, opening through both sides. Inhale and back to center. Exhale, release your arms. Bring your hands behind you, interlace your hands behind you and come into a forward fold, bending through your knees, bending through your hips, coming into a forward fold, opening up. Shoulders connecting belly to thighs, using the chair if you have to. And then inhale, sit back, lower your hands, release your hands. Inhale, rise all the way up, come to stand. And exhale it down. Coming to step your left leg on top of the block, hovering the right leg. And whenever you're ready, we're going to draw that right hip in. If you want to challenge yourself, balancing on the block, no chair. Finishing up, stepping up, bringing your legs together, inhaling your arms up, lengthen through the spine, exhale, gentle back bend, inhaling, coming back to center, sit back, exhale, hands to heart, coming into a twist in Utkatasana, right elbow to the left shoulder, sorry, to the left thigh, keep your shoulders open, Inhale in, exhale, twist. Breathe into the right side, breathe into the left side. slowly inhaling coming back to center exhale into a forward fold connecting belly to thighs inhale extend through your legs any amount if you have the block handy you can place your hands on the block and lengthen through the spine lift your head up
Next exhalation, sit back, walk your hands up, inhale, come to stand. Feet apart, micro bend your knees, micro bend your hips, sit back, inhale your arms up into cactus. And from here, exhale, sit a little bit lower using the biphotonic breath coming into twist. Inhale in, gently expanding through the core, exhale, navel in, lower ribs in, pelvic floor in. Four more. Finishing up. Coming back to center, release your arms. Toe heel in and pause. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Coming to step the right leg onto the block, hover the left leg up again for obliques. Hovering in, left hand to your shoulder, keeping your shoulder up, inhale, lengthen through the left side, exhale, draw that left hip and your shoulder in and squeeze. to step off, go down through the right leg, inhale, left knee up, crossing in, opening the hips. So we're coming into figure four position. Exhale, sit back, gently open the hip. Exhale, come into a forward fold with that hip open, lengthening the spine, just getting a little bit deeper in. Notice, feel. Inhaling, rising. Stepping the left leg on top of the block. You may have to turn yourself away, other way to hold on to the chair. If you want to challenge yourself without the chair or gently resting your fingertips. Eight contractions, inhaling, really lengthening through the side, keeping your core active and then exhale, squeeze. Keeping your left hip stable. Left leg hugging, connecting, micro bending through the left knee, stabilizing your knee joint, strengthening your ankle and your knee on the left side. Finishing up, one more. Beautiful, stepping off, finding a figure four, four position, shifting the weight to the left, right knee up and cross, open the hip, coming into Utkatasana. Opening the hip, put gentle pressure here. You get into, deep into the side of your hip, front, Hug your pelvic floor, navel in. One more breath. And inhale, rise, exhale, walk it off. Step in the right foot on top of the block. 
Inhaling, lengthening. Exhale, draw the hip in for 10. Last one, finish up. We're going to step the right leg in, right underneath the chair, stepping the left leg back, coming into a high lunge, finding yourself in a comfortable position. From here, we're coming into a twist. So inhaling both of your arms up. And again, find a wider stance if you're having difficulties balancing in this position. From here, we're coming to twist towards the right knee, heart towards the knee, and exhale, bring your hands to your heart, lower down, forward fold, and bring the elbow in. So as you do so, press your hands in and open to the right side, staying high lunge. Lift your pelvic floor, draw that navel and scoop in. It's almost like cat and cow. When you lift, pelvic, Floor in, pubic bone to knee, we're gently rounding the spine, exhale, lengthen the spine and twist. Deep breath into the core again, massaging both sides. And inhaling, rising, coming forward, place your hands on the chair, press back, extend through the front knee, pivot on the back heel, and from here now, coming into triangle pose, so finding a comfortable stance here, front knee is extended, but it's micro bend, soft hug, you know, always supporting that joint, open your arms wide. And from here, lean forward, lean, folding into the front hip and then resting your arm, having the chair for support here. We're going to open the left shoulder back even more. Notice the engagement of the entire left side of your core, your obliques. From here, we're going to pulse and lift. I lift and lower, pulsing. more. And inhale, rise all the way up, bend the front knee and extend. A few more times, bend and extend, keeping that knee in alignment, the knee center towards the baby toe. And from here, slowly coming up, pivot on the front heel and toe heel in. Coming into a forward fold, you can use the chair, standing behind the chair, inhale your arms up, feet hip distance apart, deep breath in, draw the navel and pelvic floor in, exhale, coming into forward fold, nice and deep, bend your knees, bend your hips, extend through your arms, if you're using the chair, you can come to really nice stretch through the sides of your body, and you want to walk away to have length to stretch through the sides of the body. I really love this one. As you exhale, lower your heart, soften your heart, get into the sides, breathe into the sides, and gently scoop in, coil in, chin to chest, cut and cut in that position. If you're in forward fold, maybe tented fingers coming into very gentle cut and cow, waving your spine, engaging your core, Releasing any tension from your neck. If you allow your head to hang heavy, exhale, keep them up. One more breath. And when you're ready, exhale, sit back. Strong legs, walk your hands up. 
And then hug your elbows, inhale, rise up. So beautiful. Stepping out to the block with your left foot. Planting your foot down. Hover for last set. Crunches, obliques. Inhale, lengthen. And from here, exhale, squeeze. For 10. Strong foundation. Really working on the side of the body. Finishing up. Beautiful stepping up, release the block to the side, coming to behind the chair, stepping in, stepping out, coming into high lunge for the twist. So finding your position here, inhaling your arms up, open up, breathe into the sides of your body, breathe into the heart, hands to the heart. Lengthen, exhale, twist as you lean forward, finding your leg with your elbow or resting your hand on the chair. If you're resting on the chair, make sure that you keep that length through the back of your leg, through the back of your spine. Inhale, open the arm up, hug your core, strong leg, strong core, breathe into that shape. Release any tension from your neck, from your head. And then exhaling, coming forward, coming into Trikonasana on the side. So again, pivoting on the back foot, extend through the front knee. And when you're ready, open your arms wide, lean forward, folding into the left hip and reach up. And from here, we're going to focus on the right side of the obliques and pulse gently, inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale, rise up, coming back, warrior two. Extend through the front knee and bend for a few times. You can lower your arms and inhale, lift your arms, adding a little bit more flow to the upper body. And then from here, pivot on the heel and toe heel in. You can make yourself to stand behind your chair if you're using your chair. Toe heel in, wide feet. Maybe having your feet on the edges of the mat. Inhale all the way up. Wide stance, folding forward to release. Either coming all the way down to forward fold, stretching through the back of your legs. Lift your sit bones, lift your pelvic floor or using the chair, stretch your arms, lift your armpits, exhale, soften your heart, deep breath. Gently coiling in or articulating the spine. So creating a little bit of a wave through the spine. And coming back to center, toe heel your feet in. And we're coming to 
Move the chair away, come to sit on the mat, having your block. Coming into boat position. It's great for Vata, Pitta, Kapha, all the doshas related to the stomach. Strengthening, toning all the organs. So from here, you can use the block just to hold the block in front of you. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift the block, and as you exhale, lower your shoulders. And from here, pausing, being, breathing, gently hug your block, activating through your arms, through your shoulders. And then inhaling all the way up, bring your feet together, Padakonasana, open your knees, lengthen, sit on top of your sit bones, lengthen the spine, exhale, forward fall, lengthen the spine, the down through your sit bones, gently applying pressure to your lids, should feel nice, release through your lower back, really low back, pelvic area. Breathe into the heart, gaze down, inner vision to your heart. Deep breath into the belly so we can expand the balloon in your belly in that position. And then inhaling, rising up. Bring your hands to your knees and close your knees. Now we're going to keep the feet together. Draw your toes in towards the knees, 90 degree angle, but keeping your legs together. Inhale your arms up and then exhale, lower back and bring your arms in front of you. Bring your hands together, bring your hands to your heart. Hands in prayer pose, pressing your thumbs into the sternum, Kridayam heart center. The heart is the seat of the mind. Pacifying sadaka pitta, pitta that lives in the mind, cooling the mind. Pitta is fire, pitta is hot. All these emotions of anger, irritation, frustration, bringing that dosha, sub dosha into the heart, pressing into the sternum, activating through the creed marma. Keep your core strong, keep your core active. And when you're ready, inhale, center. Exhale your left leg down, draw the right knee in and step the foot over on the outside. Again, coming into a twist, inhaling left arm up. Exhale, twist from the belly, hook onto the leg, press your hands together, draw your hands in. See if you can level your hands into your heart. And then inhaling, lengthening, exhale back to the center. Now we're coming into the legs in table. So I want you to put your hands, spread your fingers right beside your hips, extend through the elbows. Exhale, lower down, scoop your knees in and bring your legs to table. And you am out. So you can stay here or maybe release your hands in front of you, legs in table, hug. Deep breath in and out while you hug your core, relax through the neck. Oh. 
Almost there. One more breath. Hug all you got. Lift the pelvic floor. Exhale. Release. Extend through the right leg. Left knee bends. Step over. Tilt forward. Look down through the sit bones. Inhale. Right arm up. Exhale. Twist. Hook on. Hands together. Press that leg in. We are activating through marma points in the hips, in the thigh. There's always a reason why we do what we do. Hands together, gazing at the heart. Relax through the right hip crease. Each exhalation twist a little bit more. Notice your breath. And then inhaling back to center, exhale, release, come to lie on your back, bring your knees in, hug your knees in, deep breath in, inhale, lift your head, lift your heart, wrap your hands over your legs and compress through the hip creases. From here, we're going to take a deep breath into the navel, expanding big balloon as we resist, so gently pressing in. And exhale, make yourself even smaller, squeeze and hug, wind release pose. So inhaling in, and then exhaling out. Two more times. And exhale the way down, look down through your arms to the sides, spread your arms to the sides of your body. Bring your legs into table, the spine is neutral, lower back off the mat. Hug your legs in. And from here, exhale, twist and draw the legs into the left side. Anchor through the right side. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left, inhale center, exhale to the right, inhale center, six more, just like that. Stabilize through your pelvis, keep your chin slightly drawn in, lengthening through the back of your neck, four more. And when you're finished, draw your knees into your armpits, happy baby. Hold on to your ankles, gently rocking side to side. Roll your head side to side, just to release any tension. And from here, down through your arms, arms to the side, planting your palms flat. Extend your legs up to the sky, point and flex through your ankles, through your toes, soft knees. Cross the right leg on top of the left leg, bend your knees, exhale to the right side, anchor through the left, pause, deep breath. Coming into the twist, releasing any tension, any heat. Deep breath, big Buddha belly. And from here, exhale to the right side and come into a side plank, forearm on the ground, support it. Coming into the right side, you can step the top leg, your left leg in front, lift the pelvis, inhale, open the arm, or both legs step together, inhale, lift your hips up. Keep 
Keep squeezing, lifting. One more breath. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Coming to the back. Draw your knees in. Coming into wind the release pose. Hug your knees in. Inhale, lift. Lifting your heart, lifting your head. Draw your chin in. Deep breath in. And out. Lower your sacrum, flatten your sacrum, draw the pubic bone away from the navel. One more breath. And exhale, lower down, extend your arms to the side, coming back to table, feet, legs, connected, hugging your legs when you're ready, exhale to the left, anchor through the right shoulder, inhale center, Exhale to the right, inhale center, nice and slow, steady, using your breath. Chin to chest, lengthen through the back of your neck. Finishing out. And from here, draw your knees in to pause, extend your legs up, point and flex. And then bring the left leg on top of the right leg, bend to your knees, extend your arms, exhale to the left. Deep breath in to the right side. And when you're ready, exhale onto the left. Coming into side plank. Coming into alignment. Inhale, lift your pelvis. Open up, open your heart. Strong foundation. Pressing up to lift the hips, to lift the heart. Deep, steady breath. Exhale, lower down, coming down on your back, coming into wind release pose. We're almost there, almost done. Hug your legs in, inhale, lift your heart, lift your head up. Hug in, coil in, curl in, deep breath. One more breath. And when you're ready, exhale, release, arms along the body, palms facing down, inhale, your feet up, point your toes, and then draw your toes in towards your face, draw your chin in, lengthen through the back of your neck, root down through the back of your head, and when you're ready, exhale, your legs down, halfway to hover, and then engage your core, pelvic floor, sit bones sides of your core, your obliques, lower ribs in, navel in. Exhale, halfway, hug your legs even more, squeeze through the sit bones, lifting your pelvic floor even more. Make sure you draw your chin to your chest. Exhale, halfway, hug in. Feel the lowest part of your abdominals. Suck them in, tuck them in, squeeze. And then exhale to hover. Hover over the ground, and when you're ready, exhale, release. Flip your palms up, and extend your arms to the side, a little touching. 
Gently draw your head side to side, roll your head side to side and come into Shavasana. Meditating on your breath, meditating on any area of your body that needs more care, more love, more space. Deep and steady breath, bringing awareness to your heart space, lengthening your inhalation, lengthening your exhalation. And from here, when you're ready, gently begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes, and gently rock your head side to side. And then from here, draw your knees in. Slowly make your way to lie on the left side of your body. Breathing into the entire being. Breathing into that state of being and beyond. When you're ready, gently come to sit, keeping your eyes closed. Bring your hands to your heart space and then dropping the inner vision to the heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stepping into gratitude, being grateful for this body, being grateful for this breath, for this morning, and for everything else. Thank you for joining, for showing up. I wish you all have an amazing day. Namaste.